All right, we're here with one of our favorite girls. This is Butterscotch. She's an old one. She's one of our hens that we had for a couple of years now. But she's a little sick. She's not feeling too good. Well, she's not looking too good. The other day I walked into the coop and she was kind of sitting by herself. And uh, I noticed this. I didn't quite think about what it was too much. I just knew it didn't look good. So we're gonna isolate her. And we got some apple cider vinegar in her water. We got some garlic and garlic powder for her. We got oregano. We got turmeric. We're gonna do everything we can to take care of this gal. And we're gonna just document her and watch her just in case anyone is going through something similar. Then they can watch this video and maybe they can save their hen. She's already ate. We fed her in the coop. She ate, uh, she ate a lot actually. But we're gonna feed her again, get her some fresh water, and give her a couple of days over here in isolation. All right, today is the 5th, and this is the lady's second day in isolation. So let's see how she looks. Come here, Miss Butterscotch. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. It doesn't look great, but it looks like we can see more of the eye than we did two days ago. Here's what we did for her. We put apple cider vinegar in her water. It's about a tablespoon per gallon, so we mix that up for her and we put that in her water. Also in the food here, of course there's corn and grain in it, but we also mix down some, some turmeric, garlic powder, and oregano. And these are all things that supposed to be really good for her immune system. We're gonna keep watching this lady, give her a couple more days come back and check on her eyes and then maybe she can go home Come on, the fence not on. Just touch it. Come on. What? You don't trust me. I'm daddy man. It's not on. <laughs> now touch it. Tee -hee. I'm a happy person. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> You ready to do this? Okay. Get that dirt into here. This is um, peat moss and perlite. And this is just some old soil that we had left over from last year when we did peppers. Get it together. <laughs> that was right. fast. Good. Mix it up, buddy. Where did I put the rake? Ooh, look at that. It's still green. Mm -hmm. Hopefully no other worm eggs popped in there. I have to pop the permit. I'm gonna disappear into there. 
I'm gonna add some of this peat moss, okay? Okay. Mix it all in, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> she keep finding uh, like little grub eggs in here. I squished one and it popped all over my forehead. I thought it was a bee. Good. This is where, this is, this is Aloe Princess's piece, okay? Are you making a castle? Yes. Okay, get that castle in this bucket. No! Is, I'm just making the entrance to my castle. Look! Look at my castle! <laughs> no! I want to stop. Alright, stop right there. Now... <laughs> Over, oh goodness. <laughs> okay. What was that? I, was, I, was, I had to kind of breathe and sneeze or something. Yeah, I'll take. Cut that out. You can't cut that out. <laughs> you can't cut that All out. All right, I'll leave, I'll leave it in for you, sweetie. Yes. Okay. In, in here, we have worm castings and some fertilizer. Uh, I have a 12... 3, 5, I believe, and that's not what you want. But um, that's what I'm going to use. Like I say, also have worm castings in here. So we're gonna go ahead and add this to it in this layer, and then again at the top layer, and we're gonna get the kiwi down. Yep. Nice. Stop the castle mess. Come on, get this going. Ah, the castle. Come on. All right, that's enough. This will be my castle flag. Break open the kiwi, girl. Now let's read this, shall we? This is an Isaiah Kiwi. It's supposed to be really good for growing in our zone. We're in Virginia, zone seven. And uh, yeah, this is zones four through eight. Never had them. I heard they're, they're tasty. They're about the size of large grapes and they vine. So my daughter loves kiwi. kiwi. Therefore, we shall plant kiwi. kiwi. If it's rampant and you want. And it's rampy and you shall have. Yeah. Kiwi. Alright, as you see, it's it's kind of drying out, so we have it just in time. From what I've learned, the um, the leaves are coming. So we don't want to put this out here just yet. Because we're still dealing with the dangers of frost. So we're gonna pot it up and take it into the house and let it grow under some grow lights. And then in a month or so, maybe two months, we're gonna bring it out and we're going to uh, plant it deep down over there in the garden. So for now, this is where it stays. We're going to water it in and give it a little more worm castings and fertilizer around the edges. There you go. And we should be good. Theodora's now going to backfill this thing. Make it feel welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy, look good. Are you ready, Hazel Cat? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday again. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday again. Happy birthday, happy birthday, Theodora, again, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, and many more. Happy birthday, Bob Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, dear, dear, island residents, Fedora. That's his voice. Just, just trust me on this. Congratulations to you. That's all from me. Time for you to all get out and enjoy your day. Yes. Okay, now I gotta play Animal Crossing. He's talking about me. Our first frizzle has hatched. Oh, so cute. Cute. oh, look at that! <laughs> I want to hold her!
No, we gotta wait. You gotta give her a couple of hours. She's out. She broke free. Yeah. It's so pretty. So quick. Oh, yeah, man. So now we're gonna ready this old incubator for her. So she can come in here and dry off and get cool. We're gonna wait till it drops down to 99 degrees and she's gonna go in. Yep, okay, what we have here is a bunch of uh, teacup bantam eggs. And we're gonna take this little lady out, it's her time. And this is a uh, baby frizzle. Our first one. She is gorgeous. Tiny and delicate. And what's great is that what, what tell, tell me the great thing about this bird. She has on my birthday. On your birthday. So today's her birthday too. Yeah. Alright. So this is our old incubator. If you remember this right here from um the last season of the Garden of Feodora, or the season before that. And we've decided to change this into a little resting area. A little cool down period. Well, a heat up period. What? Put her in? Oh, there's a spider in there! Alright, so there was a spider in here. I don't I don't see him. He jumped! Okay, yeah, I see him. A little... Oh, uh, yeah. So since we saw a spider in there, our plan is to put a turkey in there. And let him take care of it. You ready? You ready to eat? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Put him in, put him in. Take, take care of him. Come on, take, take care of him. Eat him. Oh. Come on, eat the spider. This video's becoming something else. Do your job, silly. Eat the spider. Come on, guy. Clean that brooder. Come on, do it. Come on. First, we're going to go ahead and give this little birdie a Dunkachino. Okay. Ready? Oh, there, yeah. Mm, there you go. There you go. Let's go ahead and get her in. I know it's kind of dirty in there, but it, it'll be okay. The little bird will be fine. Today is the 13th. And let's check on my girl. Let's see that eye. Oh, yeah. You're looking good, gal. You're looking really good. Yeah. Oh, you're beautiful. You think you want to put her back over there now? You want to put her back with Pablo? Yeah, that's where she belongs. You want to do it today? Yeah, why not? Give, okay, well, let's do it. But I'm going to go ahead and feed you first. I'm going to give you your own little food and your own little pen. Just for, just for being so pretty. How about that, huh? But we also have some new additions. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but I'm just going to show you. Him. No, not him. Them. That's right. We have two more silkies. Silkies are very hard to sex. We can't really tell if they're boys or girls, but we believe that they're both um, girls. Smokey here has been mating on this one, but that doesn't mean too much, but he has been mating. We haven't seen this one do any mating of any type yet, so. But, yep. He's, he's doing it. Anyway, back to her. We're going to put her back with Pablo. Uh, we think she's cured of all her illnesses. Look at Pablo. Baby. The girl is back from the hospital. There she is. You miss her?
gonna leave for a minute. Well, oh. she's back asserting her dominance. Yeah. And getting danced for. But this is it. This is a success. Our gal is doing good. Everybody's healthy. Her eyes cured. And, you know, what more can I say except for I feel good. She's back home. Everybody's happy. Gay Mario. <laughs> so long, Gayum. So long, gay balls. All right, no throw. <laughs> so long, a gay Santa. Gay donut? Gay fish? Gay cane? Thank you.